Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Have you ever had the problem that your Rhino file is too big and it's hard to send by the email? Today, I would like to share with a few tips how to make your Rhino file smaller. Are you ready? Let's get started. So in this sample of this shadow band, I have a lot of the monogram and I have a lot of the pattern and things like that. And so you can see my file size is over 100 megabyte. And how do we make this one smaller? And before we even start it, uh, I wanted to go to the option right here. And when you click on the option, we can see here absolutely tolerance is 0 0.001. And this is the number when we open the template and that is what it gives it to us. Now you can change the number for something bigger like 0 0.01 right here. And then so with this number, your file will automatically smaller, but at the same time, your surface will be a little bit rougher. So if you are doing a lot of detail work, I will suggest you keep it in 0 0.001 to start it with. Otherwise, all the small work is going to have like a pixelated look, which is this really rough surface. Right, but if you are doing the overall the big ring with just the the foam, it doesn't have a much of a stone setting with all the detail to save the file. You can actually make them a little bit bigger, right? So that's the first to start it. Now, the one of the things that we can give it a try is we can pick up all of them. And then uh, as you can see, like all of them has some sort of a material. I have a diamond material and add, all of them is going to add up the file. So one thing we can do is using the uh, command called purge and we can purge. It will ask you which one you want to purge, which which one you want to get rid of. So I want to check everything to yes. Uh, so that way all the background detail will be removed. Right. So once you click on that, um, and then it will, if you take a look on our command bar here, it will say how many things be cleaned out. And since I don't have a super, a lot of the material or uh, rendering heavily here, so it doesn't have a lot, but let's give it a try. I'm going to save us the same and just underscore this one purge and let's see how much of a space that we are saving. So let's take a look on the file size one more time. You can see it's a little bit smaller and that's because it get rid of some of the background um, information right there, like a layering, like a color uh, of the rendering, like environment or things like that. So since I don't have a complicated rendering right here, um, so it doesn't give me a lot, but it will kind of give you a smaller file. Right. Another way to make your file smaller is when you save the file, you want to use the save us. And then you have the option here for save small. And then you want to uncheck everything. Right. So we want to change this to save small. And we again want to save it into the Rhino 7. And let's see what's the differences. If we take a look on here, you can see it's dramatic is smaller. It's going to be only have a 13 uh, megabyte right here. And I also wanted to open it back and see what is the difference for save small. So let's go ahead to click on this one. And I want to open with the Rhino 7. As you can see, this model, it keep every single thing that I have uh, for save small. It doesn't pack all the uh, information in there and it's just a simple model right there. So that could save you a lot of the space uh, by using save small and easier to email to other people. Now, one more thing I would like to address is using a block as a simple sample to show you. So I'm going to make a box right here. And for this box by itself, it is an extrusion, right? And then so if we just saving this box and I'm going to name it box right here and extrusion, and then we're going to see how big this file is. It's like 29K, right? But if I have this box exploded and joined back together, now this box is a poly surface. Right. So I'm going to save us this file as a poly surface. So I'm going to do changing the file name here and 
poly and then hit enter. Let's take a look on the file size right here. It's dramatically to increase to 47 right here. Uh, as you can see this one. So poly surface does take a bigger file size compared to the extrusion, right? Now, so what we can see is extrusion will be smaller file than the poly surface, right? So let's do another test right here. So I'm going to have this guy and I'm going to make it a lot of them. So let's go ahead to use the rectangular array and I'm gonna have 10 on the X, 10 on the Y, and 10 on the Z, right? So with this one, I'm going to moving something like that and giving some height there. So then I have a lot of them here, right? So this is, let's take a look on the ghost view. So this is a, a thousand time of a original cube right there. So I'm going to save us a regular Rhino and I'm going to name it here 1000 box, right? And this is like poly, poly surface right here. And then we just want to save as a regular way we save with the Rhino. Now let's take a look on the file size right here. This 1000 box poly is 19 uh, megabyte over here. And if you save them small, let's go ahead to save us. And then we want to try save small here and 1000 box poly. And I want to do small and want to compare what the size is. And if you take a look on here, it does make it smaller. It's 14 megabyte, right? But one thing to save it even more, especially if you are in the architect, uh, architecture industry, uh, a lot of time you are actually making bunch of the window and things like that. So I'm going to go back one step right here and I'm going to make it as a block. It will ask you to pick up the point. So I'm going to snapping into this endpoint right here and we can give it a name. I'm just going to have it block 01 and click OK. All right, so now this one on my property, instead of a poly surface, you can see it is a block, right? We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come in into the rectangular array and I'm gonna have a 10 piece on each direction. So we have this block instant and creating it with the uh, array tool and then we create a thousand of them and you can see all of them on my property here is showing its block, right? So let's go ahead to coming to a file and then we want to save us. And by comparison, I want to save to regular Rhino. And then we want to have this name it and then we want to hit save. And let's take a look on the file, right? You can see the block is dramatically smaller. It's only have 448K. That will save you a lot of the uh, file size if you have a repeating pattern and you just need to save them as a block. So this are for the right now. We can use come back to give you a recap, we can use the file sizes, smaller tolerance to starting with, we can use the purge and we can use a safe small, or if we have a lot of the pattern, we're turning the pattern into the block and that block is going to help to save the file a lot more smaller. All right, so this is a regular nerve surface. Now I want to talk about is the Rhino mesh. Uh, a lot of time we have the mesh and it's dramatic, the big number here. All right, so let's take a look on the example by using the sphere. I'm going to draw a sphere here and I'm going to copy this sphere and just move it up here. So then I'm going to Boolean union those two, right? So when we are turning into the mesh, uh, we have the option uh, for making more mesh or less mesh. Most of the time you are coming into the simple control. If you use the fewer polygon and then you're going to get something like this, right? And then if you do it again, you have a lot more polygon, then you will get something look like this, right? The difference is, is the resolution uh, the for the look. If you take a look on the render view, the more polygon you have, it's going to be smoother and less polygon that you have, then you, it's going to be zigzag, right? So one of the thing is when we are saving into the mesh, 
most of the time, we can also do something like this. I'm going to using instead of uh, doing into the mesh, I'm going to export and I selecting it this piece and then I'm going to export into STL file, right? And I'm going to just, so in this STL file, I'm just going to name it um, export mesh and we are just gonna save it as a STO. Now you're gonna come up with the window and this is a window is quite important. The smaller number that you have, let's say you're gonna do that like zero, 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 and that's going to dramatically increasing the number. I'm going to stay with the zero, zero, one and just click okay. And then it was showing it's only 1.4 megabyte, right? If you save it smaller to export mesh and this one is larger which I'm going to save it instead of a 0 0.01 I'm going to remove one zero for 0 0.1 and I want to click OK you say it's it's gonna be super small like 215k right here for the size right and what is the difference let's open it up back to Rhino so I'm going to open the file uh, back to Rhino by import and we're gonna import the mesh and click open and let's click uh, OK so then you will see that first it is uh, the finer regular for 0 0.01 and we are going to import one more time this time we're gonna do that larger number which is a point one and then we're gonna come in over here and then you can see this one as you can see the mesh structure this one is a lot more bigger but if we take a look on the render you're going to see overall it seems not much of different but if you zoom in you're gonna start seeing those edges line there so if you print out this one you're going to see that a uh, facet over there compared to print out this one will be completely smooth all right, so then uh, let's take a look on the ghost view. It's similar idea with the cores or the refine, right? So let me take a look on this one by itself. Currently this file for Expo Mesh, that regular mesh one, we have about uh, one megabyte. And then so if we wanted to reduce this, this is a simple model, so it's not dramatically uh, a big here. But if we want to reduce this file uh, with the mesh, what can we do? We can use the commands called reduce mesh and then you'll come up the window like this and so far we have the certain number for our mesh is like 27,000 polygon you can reduce by the number or you can reduce by the percentage I'm going to do it dramatically for 50 percent and then let's click OK once it is reduced, uh, you can see the structure is going to be like that. It's a less uh, uniform, but let's take a look on the render view. If the render view, you cannot see too much of a facet, you can kind of give it a try and print in this one. It will still maintain as a solid, right? But if you reduce too much, then that will cause the problem. So again, we want to save this file, reduce. 50 and let's see the file size you can see it's dramatically smaller and if we take a look on this file this file is actually half size of the uh, original mesh that we have so it's because we have reduced 50 percent of it so this is the way to make your mesh smaller and finally very last trick is you can just save them as a zip file so it's easier for you to save a space and also easier for you to send it out for email if you like my video consider to join the membership i have a lot more trick and tip that i share with my member thank you for watching and i will see you next